Hello everyone, welcome once again in Cool IT Help. Guys, today I will tell you how to connect the Beaver SQL client with Derby database. Let's get started. So guys, uh, what we have to do, first of all, we have to start the DB server. So uh, we have to go inside the program files and now here go to the Java folder. Now again, go inside the JDK 1.8 and now go inside the DB folder which has all database related files okay also we have here batch files to start and stop the server so i'm looking for the start network server dot bat file here it is so we have to start it but before starting it we have to set up the environment variable for this folder so what we have to do okay so we will launch it uh, as an administrator and we will give the full permission uh, to this server for creating the database on your drive now go to the PC and go to the properties here and click on the advanced settings and now here click on the environment variable now you can see I have already created this system variable so you have to create derby underscore home variable and the value you have to give the path up to DB folder I hope this is clear to you once you click once you're done you have to click OK and uh, the new system variable is created now click OK button to close this window now again clo close this previous window ok now come back here and now we will start our DB server do a right click and choose the run as administrator then you will see the DB server the Apache derby network servers is started and you will see such message and you here port 15727 where this network server is running and uh, able to listen the incoming connection now launch the db work community edition if you guys have not installed so please follow the link given in the description and just install it and come back with this video and you can continue now this page is open for the db view. now it's simple we will do a new connection setup for connecting the derby database so what we have to do go here this icon click on this new connection and you will have this list so we have to select the derby configuration so here we have two choices so we have to select server okay once you click do a next and right here we have to fill some details like database or schema name so I am giving a name like test DB and you can see here the JDBC URL automatically formed okay and here create is equal to true means we are creating database first time so the new database file will be created okay if you put it false so that file will not be created and try to look up for the existing file once you're done click next and all these settings left blank no need and uh, do again next and you will have this uh, finish connection is creation is window and here you can test the connection is it working or not okay now it's working F finally you will get this message that success the our connection is successful and now we are connected with the derby database okay and we have created the test DB and here let me expand this tree and you will see these users available and uh, now you can create uh, your uh, tables here with the help of uh, SQL so you have to write some uh, create SQL so I will show you by creating one table here so do a right click and open the SQL editor okay if this window is not open so just paste one create table script and I'm going to create inside the a double P and just hit execute and you will see the new table is created here okay you have to refresh once and now you will see the person's table is created here okay guys this is the columns we have created the four columns in this table so this was the way you can connect the derby database with the help of dbweaver sql client
I hope you guys have clear understanding on this. If you have still any doubt, so please comment. I will try my best to reply as soon as possible. If you found this video useful, so guys, please like, share and don't forget to subscribe my channel and keep watching Cool IT Help.